Girls Don't Fart, okay? This is written by Lisa Regan and Agnes Arnold. Girls Don't Fart, okay? Ethan ate a lot of beans, which made his bottom rumble. Oh, Ethan, stop that smell and noise, the family used to grumble. But Ethan felt it wasn't fair. He couldn't help his tummy. He's surely not the only one whose toots upset his mummy. So Ethan asked his group of friends, does everyone get wind? Marty laughed. <laughs> Fizz looked confused. Hmm. Sam just quietly grinned. But little Trixie took offence. Girls don't fart, okay? Only boys make bottom noises. We girls aren't built that way. The boys just didn't believe her, so they set themselves a test to see if girls pass wind or not. That would be their quest. The school was serving eggs that day, which made all the boys think, now's our chance to check things out, because this should raise a stink. They waited in the playground where all the girls skip and jump, and listening very carefully, they heard a little flump. Aha, they cheered. That's one confirmed. Let's try to find some more. Ethan waved his wand and they all vanished out the door. They flew to the palace where they landed with a bump. No way, they laughed. We'll never prove royal females trump. Princess Pearl played in her room, so to her door they went. Thinking she was all alone, she let off a strawberry scent. The boys crept through the bushes past the fancy mount fountain where they gasped to see a unicorn in the shadow of a mountain. <gasps> Ethan led them closer as the boys drew near. All the colours of the rainbow erupted from her rear. The next stop was the ocean and they dived beneath the waves. Then Marcy spied a pretty mermaid swimming in the caves. The friends could tell... Um, a mer king was telling off her daughter. He said it was a lady like to make bubbles in the water. Ethan cast another spell to whisk them to glade, while Mrs. Squirrel gathered nuts while all her children played. The boys watched oh so silently. They heard a flutter. Mrs. Squirrel did a fart that smelt of peanut butter. What a whiff, the boys declared. Just wait till we tell Trixie. Then, floating past their hiding place, flew a cheeky little pixie. The boys crept along behind the pixie, following their noses. Then, spreading out behind her, came pink cups that smelt of roses. Next, Ethan cast a spell that whisked them back to Marty's house. They gathered in his bedroom where they spied a lady mouse. She ran behind the wardrobe, Fizz and Milk to take a peek. Hee hee, he laughed. The mouse just did a tiny bottom squeak. They heard a meow in, in a flash. The mouse was on the run. A kitten had started chasing her, trying to have some fun. The kitten looked adorable with soft, white, fluffy fur. She was so relaxed. She let out a stinky purr. The boys were seen enough to prove Trixie she was wrong. They were in a hurry to find her when they heard a ballet song. The ballerina did a fart. That was the best one yet. Her smelly bottom made the dancers spin and pirouette. Now they must find Trixie to tell her what they'd seen. They'd had enough proof to show girls all ways aren't squeaky clean. Mermaids, planters, lady mice, princesses as well. Making rainbows, bubbles, clouds of pink with various sorts of smell. Trixie and her friends were picking flowers in the park. The sun was sinking and then the sky was getting dark. Suddenly they heard a noise, a gentle whispering sound. Trixie flew up in the air with glitter all around. The Trixie, the Trixie glanced and hid her face. The fairies all went quiet. Caught in the act, the boys all cried. Now you can't deny it. My daddy is a silly monkey. Diane, a humpfer 
and Carl Thompson written this book. My daddy is a silly monkey. My daddy is a big great bear. He gets out of bed, he grizzles, crouches and scratches and yawns. My daddy is a naughty crocodile. He gives a toothy grin and dribbles toothpaste all over his chin. My daddy is a whirly, twirly, swirly octopus. He brushes my hair, sends a text, topples a chair, spills the milk, burns the toast, ties my laces and juggles my lunch. My daddy is a silly monkey. He chitters, chatters and monkeys about and makes me very, very late for school. My daddy is a humongous whale. After school he splashes and wallows and spouts and swallows. My daddy is a jumpy kangaroo. He hippity hops, flippity flops and flies as high as the moon. My daddy is a ravenous tiger. He mixes and mashes and gnashes his dinner until his tummy is so full but not quite enough because then he is a galloping growling monster. Tidy up, eat your dinner, get in the bath, brush your teeth or I'm going to chase you ah! and catch you and gobble you up. No, no, no. At the end of the day my daddy is too tired to play. He's not a bear. Not a crocodile, not an octopus, not a whale. He's not a kangaroo, or a tiger, or a monster. He's not even a silly monkey. He is just my lovely daddy. Good night, daddy. Good night, sweetheart. Great. Now we will be reading Beans on Toast by Paul Dowling. Beans on toast. Beans on stalks. Beans on legs. Beans on racks. Beans on wheels. Beans on the road. Beans on cranes. Beans on tins. Beans on trucks. Beans on shelves, beans on the counter, and beans on the way home. Beans in the cooker, and beans on a spoon. Beans on head, beans on floor. Beans on toast. Sleep baby, sleep baby, sleep. The large stars are the sheep, and little star are the lambs. I guess the bright moon is the shepherds. Sleep, baby, sleep. My bed is a boat. My bed is like a little boat. Nurse, help me when I embark. She guides me in my sailor's coat and starts me in the dark. At night I go on board and say, Good night to all my friends on shore. I shut my eyes and sail away to see and hear no more. And sometimes think I to take to bed, I take as prudent sailors have to do. Perhaps a slice of wedding cakes, perhaps a toy <coughs> or two. All night across the dark we stare, but when the day returns at last, Safe in my room, beside me the pier, I find my vessel fast. Thank you for listening to my bedtime stories. My name is Molly Murray and I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. If I get like enough subscribers and likes on my videos, then I should create a new channel for the older children to enjoy. Thank you.